Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. For God has given us the reason to rejoice always because He cares for us. And this morning I would like to meditate with you the second thing that happened on Tuesday of the Passion Week. Jesus accepted an invitation by a Pharisee for dinner. While reclining at the table, one woman came with a box of uh, very expensive perfume. The same event is recorded by John in his Gospel, chapter 12. And she anointed Jesus and washed his feet with that costly perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. And this action of hers generated some resentment among the disciples, especially from Judas Iscariot. From this we, from John's Gospel, we know who this woman was. It was none other than Mary, the sister of Lazarus. And uh, in that dinner party, Jesus was invited along with his disciples. And uh, Lazarus was there. And uh, Martha must have been there, I am sure. And it was while they all were there reclining at the table, Mary suddenly came with this very expensive perfume. It was an act of a great sacrifice and loving devotion. She somehow knew by sitting at the feet of Jesus that her opportunity to express devotion to Jesus would soon be over. And there were several, several distinguished guests. As I mentioned, Jesus, Lazarus, the disciples, and so many others. Lazarus was seated along with Jesus. And people came from many directions to see Lazarus, who was just raised from the dead. And they also wanted to see Jesus, who raised him from the dead. And uh, while disciples hearing Judas Iscariot's comment, why this waste of money? She could have sold this perfume, which is very expensive, for a good amount, and then give it to the poor. While they were busy in discussing about the matter, Mary was worshipping. That act of anointing Jesus and washing the feet of Jesus all shows her heart deep felt devotion and love for Jesus Christ. And for some onlookers, it was a waste of money. There are two things I would like you to ponder from this incident. Number one, what is the value you would place on the Lord Jesus Christ? Judas Iscariot, it was a waste, whatever that amount was. But he knew that the perfume being a very expensive one would fetch a very good amount. And Judas Iscariot himself set a price 
just before the crucifixion of Jesus Christ as he betrayed Jesus by accepting 30 silver coin from the Pharisees and the leaders of, uh, of Judaism. That was the price he set on Jesus. And now he is criticizing Mary for doing an act of utter devotion and love towards Jesus. What is the value you will set on Jesus? How much Jesus is worth to you? Think about it. There are so many people who even today betray Jesus by, for something that is insignificant. They don't mind praying and reading the Bible and attending the church for the sake of some other event, a picnic or some other guest who are there. So Jesus is worth actually nothing for many people, even those so-called Christians. This is something that we need to think about. What is the worth? Apostle Paul set a price on Jesus once he realized and understood who this Jesus Christ truly is. And so in Philippians chapter 3 he said, whatever was a gain to me, I consider them all dung. He was not an ordinary man. He was a very rich man from a multi-millionaire family, a business family. He had the highest qualification those days, had the privilege of sitting at the feet of Gamaliel, who was a highly respected teacher at that time. He was also a member of a Sanhedrin, a ruling um, group of people over Israel. So he was a man of position, man of possession, man of qualifications, man of a high standing in the society. And then when he met Jesus, he said, whatever was gained to me, it is nothing compared to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. For the sake of knowing Christ, he denied everything. What an example. How much is Jesus worth to you? You call him Lord. And the second thing I want you to ponder from this incident is, when is the right time for you to show your devotion, your love, and your worship for Jesus Christ. Mary did what she did before the death of Jesus Christ. And according to Jesus, she did it preparing his body for the burial. And what somehow Mary came to know of this by sitting at the feet of Jesus and learning from him. She knew she did not have much more time left to express and show her devotion and her love for her master. What you want to do for Jesus, do it now. Do not postpone it for tomorrow. This is the right time. If you want to show how much you love, how much you care, do it now. Don't wait until it is too late. And God bless you as you ponder on these things and to give your response. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your people. I thank you for those who have watched and those who will watch later on in YouTube or Facebook. That every one of them will take a stand for Jesus while others may be doing something else. There may be people to criticize. There may be people to disapprove of of, of, of we want to do for you. Give your people the courage and the boldness to do what they want to do for Jesus without fearing anybody. Thank you. 
in Jesus name Amen dear friends God bless you have a wonderful good day for the Lord is with you Amen